Uh, thank you, Nicole, and thank you, Tom, uh, for that welcome uh, from the City of Whittlesea, and uh, great to see he's joined by other councillors in uh, Councillor Desiato and Councillor Cas Montalioni. And I'd like to thank uh, uh, Wendy Lovell, who's uh, obviously holding the phone up there so that uh, David Davis can hear my opening remarks. I was really worried that he wasn't going to hear what I had to say. So thank you for that, Wendy. And I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to elders past and present. And I like to think about that all the time. The electorate of Yang Yin um, means young boy in, uh, in Wuthering language and that's really important to me and Murder actually means young girl. So whenever I'm doing my work in the 16 years I've represented this area, I like to think of the young people and the future uh, that we are leaving for them. Um, I wanted to acknowledge my um, uh, fellow debaters in, uh, in Nicole, from, uh, who we've just met tonight, and Marilyn Klein, who is the Liberal candidate for Yang Yang, and I'm delighted that she'll actually be speaking tonight because I think it is a really important function of democracy that we have events like this. Thank you, Nicole, for uh, coming along and sharing. And thank you to the City of Whittlesea, the Metropolitan Transport Forum, and also uh, the um, leader newspaper group who have sponsored uh, these series of forums around Melbourne. Uh, as Tom said, four years ago, uh, we were debating and, about who supported Murder Rail and who didn't. At that time, I was able to say that I supported it and that if we were elected, we would build it. At that time, I was in opposition. Um, I found those four years just interminable. Um, I've been in, in Parliament since 2002. Uh, in 2010, uh, the electorate made a decision and they elected uh, um, someone else. And when you, when you have the upside of democracy, you've also got to accept the downside. And, but I think that the greatest predictor of future behaviour is past behaviour. And sadly, in 2010, we didn't actually have a debate like this, and the Liberal Party paid almost no attention to the electorate of Yang Yang, and they made no capital promises whatsoever, and they delivered in spades. Not one arterial road was, uh, was funded or delivered on their watch. Yes, they were able to cut the ribbon on the South Moraine train line extension, but that was something that had been funded by the Brumby government. Uh, at the time that the, uh, that the South Moran Rail opened, a thousand bus services per week were cut, uh, including 500 in the Greensboro postcode. And that was then used as a justification that students couldn't get to the TAFE campus at Greensboro and Greensboro TAFE was closed. So at a time when this population was booming, uh, we were having cuts and closures in Melbourne's north and it wasn't good enough. And so I fought tooth and nail to make sure that we had a very good set of um, policies that went to the last election. And like I've always said, I have never made a promise since 2002 that I have not kept. And I was proud to see that um, in late August, uh, the Murder Rail began operation. Eight, uh, three stations, eight kilometres of, uh, of rail, three lots of car parks, and I'm pleased to say that unlike when South Moraine Rail opened, where there was absolute mayhem because there was not enough car parking, and that bus services had been cut, uh, that uh, the uh, Middle Gorge train station has virtually had um, only about 50% capacity of its train, of its uh, rail spaces. Uh, the uh, Hallstow has been at about a third available of its spaces, and Murda has had about 60 to 80 generally on Johnson Road. Some people have said it's been fully uh, uh, at capacity, but uh, I think that that's just people haven't been getting used to the three sections of the car parking. Uh, the bus connections uh, have been uh, remarkable in terms of the loop services, the uh, 388 and the 389 that was introduced uh, to coincide with that. Um, I went to the last election saying that we would introduce um, additional services in this area. Um, particularly, I talked about a Doreen to Diamond Creek service, the 381. Well, we've gone over and above that. We introduced a complete network, um, the Plenty Valley Bus Network. 
and we've introduced the 343 um, uh, Hurstbridge to Greensboro service, which augments the train services on the Hurstbridge line. Uh, the services uh, that were, so the Plenty, Plenty Valley Bus Network has been in operation now for around two years and it has been altered uh, to connect with the three train stations. Um, I'm sure my opponent will uh, raise some uh, issues around the teething problems in relation to that and I'm pleased to, um, I have been, there's always teething problems. Those that, uh, that say they love the train, the buses going to the train station, unfortunately it has uh, created some issues with some school students uh, that need to go further afield to Montmorency and Greensboro. And I'm pleased to say tonight that the 385 uh, for school students uh, will be going directly to Montmorency Secondary College and will not be, uh, the students will no longer have to board and get off into the dangerous Para Road, um, they'll be getting off in Magpie Place. And I might say the reason why students have to travel so far, senior secondary school students, is because when, uh, and I look forward to when David Davis uh, arrives, that when, uh, when the Liberal Party took office, one of the first things, not only did they go to the 2010 election promising absolutely nothing for this area, they promised a study into whether or not we needed a secondary college for 34, the uh, 3754 postcode. Uh, and they promised, um, I think, $20,000 for the Whittlesey Agricultural Society. That was the sum total of their promises to the fastest growing electorate in the state, an absolute disgrace. Immediately as they got in, they cancelled the land purchase for what was supposed to be a Dorian Secondary College in Cooks Road. And that's why, to this day, um, we now have uh, next year, uh, Murder at uh, Hazelglen College will begin uh, VCE uh, year 11, and Murder Central College is now um, and has now been built uh, by our government. We completed Hazelglen College, but we actually had a hiatus where there was no school building and uh, until the last minute when it was almost too late. So that's why we have students going outside the area. Um, I am committed into the future uh, for local jobs. Local jobs means less travelling outside this area. I'm really proud to have taken charge absolutely for the walking and cycling network that's come together with uh, the Murder Rail Line. Uh, I worked in transport and in housing in the mid and late 80s and it's been a passion. Um, affordable housing and transport and health. I lost my dad um, to a heart attack at 45 and Whittlesey has the dubious honour of having the highest rate of heart disease in Victoria. I think having active transport and being able to walk and cycle to school and to train stations um, will improve the health of this community. Also having local jobs uh, means that people spend more time with family and less time commuting. Um, I look forward to answering any questions that you have tonight and thank you again for hearing from me.